Sydney. Yeah, it's Ed. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Ed. Uh, my name is Elias. Uh, I'm actually from Shiprock originally. Ah, all right. Once okay. a Kirtland, graduated from Kirtland High School. Um, got family out in Luka Chuka and Saley. <laughs> lucky Chucky. Yeah, uh, Lucky Chucky. <laughs> I went to high school at Neville Prep in Farmington. Oh, there you go. Close to home then. Yeah. Well, it's nice to, to finally meet you. Um, so I actually run a YouTube channel called Native Media Theory. I I got a film degree and I was figured, you know what? I might as well just talk about it since no one's talking about it on YouTube. It'd be kind of fun. <laughs> oh, amazing. Awesome. But I had a, a few questions for you, if you don't mind, that are actually very native specific. That was things that caught my attention. Let's do it. And uh, I was curious, what uh, what was the motivation behind kind of changing Alakwa or uh, Maya's uh, tribal ancestry? I, c I think the original uh, comic, she was Cheyenne. And I was curious what Blackfeet. led... What's that? Blackfeet. Oh, she was Blackfeet. And so yeah. I was I was curious, what was the motivation from, you know, or inspiration, I should say, to the changing her tribal ancestry to Choctaw? Yeah, so it, it was interesting because the the com that first uh, comic we run where she's introduced in, in the Daredevil series uh, is beautifully illustrated. And the character is introduced as Blackfeet, but she's Blackfeet in name only. Oh, okay. Uh, there isn't, they, they don't go into specifics of, you know, um, uh, of her culture, her language, her tradition. Uh, and then you, while the comic book, while beautifully illustrated, incorporates a lot of Native American imagery and iconography, um, but it's arbitrary. You know, yeah. it's like, you know. Um, kind of pan-Indian type of thing. Pa yeah, not even pan-Indian, but pan-Canadian, pan-American, indigenous oh. Uh, you know, there's there's imagery from, uh, you know, I think the Yucatan, there's ancestral Pueblo and stuff from Pueblo Bonito. Um, there's stuff from, I think, all the way up uh, almost the Arctic Circle, Inuit area, Six Nations, New York. And it's it's oh. all it's all interesting imagery, but it's arbitrary. Yeah. And so um, and so when uh, when I came on board, uh, the project, the, the character was already Choctaw. But uh, but I think that was probably part uh, part of. That was probably because we had Choctaw uh, voices in the writer's room. And okay. because we wanted to tell an authentic story, um, we decided to go down that route with her. Well, I, I actually really appreciate that it's so tribal specific because it narrows everything down yeah. and grounds it a lot better. And I thought that was really cool. Um, and I had another really oddly specific question, <laughs> but I was curious what the research was like for all of the the, the pre-colonial scenes that you guys explored there with one yeah. of your ancestors. Listen, I can talk about that for for hours. Um, <laughs> you know, um, uh, you know, and I'll try to do this without spoiling spoiling. But um, the uh, can I spoil? Dang. Okay. Um, Sorry. Uh, shut down. Denied. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, so in the second episode there, we visit a section of America pre-European contact, right? And uh, we see we see something that I, I think I can honestly say has never been seen before on film. Um, and uh, more importantly, for myself, what I loved about that is that we got to see the, we built up a world where we got to see the four corners of the Americas pre-European contact. So uh, what does that mean? Uh, that meant that we got to see uh, 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 Choctaw and Cherokee um, uh, uh, tribes before they were sort of known as Choctaw and Cherokee. Yeah. Uh, we got to see uh, uh, representatives from the Northeast and in uh, the Mohawk. We got to see a sort of a proto Salish kind of Pacific Northwest uh, uh, tribal representation. We got to see um, uh, ancestral Puebloans. Um, I believe the term Anasazi has become uh, uh, antiquated. Um, so uh, we got to see ancestral Puebloans from the Southwest U.S. and we also got to see Mayan dignitaries from the Yucatan. Um, and uh, for myself, just being you know uh, a fan of the history of Indigenous um, America, it was such a it was such a joy to just bring that together on screen and and portray that. Yeah, it definitely itched that that part for me too because I I have always been fascinated ever since I was a kid. Um, mm -hmm. But Sydney, I uh, I wish I had more time. <laughs> we can ah. talk more if you want. Uh, I'd love to have you on my channel. But um, uh, I uh, just wanted to say that I really appreciate the direction that you have so far with this channel or with this show. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been it, the, you know what I've seen so far, and I can't wait to finish it. It's just uh, it. In my opinion, it's like like you mentioned too. There's a lot of things that we haven't seen before, um, in in broader mainstream media and in film and television. And 
I just want to commend you and say yeah hat for you know really trying your best and doing your best to kind of bring this to light so um but I wish I had more time but we could talk more later and uh I hope to you know I hope everyone really loves this show ah thank you so much okay bye-bye good night